Obviously, when we create a video, we want it to be seen by as many people as possible. But sometimes on YouTube, it can feel like we're only one tiny voice in a sea of thousands of other creators. So how do you give your videos the best chance to succeed? Well, that's our topic for today. How can you set up your videos so that YouTube will take them and run with them? YouTube's algorithm is incredible. They have spent the last decade honing it in until now it is a well-oiled machine. The problem is, unless you spend a little time digging into what makes the algorithm tick, your videos might not do as well as you had hoped. The good news is that it's all fixable by just adding a few short steps to your uploading process. Let's start with your title and description. These are mainly meant as a tool to draw your audience in, and that's exactly why YouTube looks here to try and figure out what your video is about. So try and help it along by using lots of keywords in both your title and your description. Now, you obviously don't want to add so many that you sound like a robot. It still has to be appealing to your viewers, but adding just a few will help YouTube know where it needs to put your content for it to get the best results. Another great set of tools YouTube gives us to help out the algorithm are tags and hashtags. Hashtags are just like any other social media site. They're key phrases that people can search for in order to find a particular type of content. Tags, on the other hand, are metadata. They don't show up on your video at all. Tags are just between you and YouTube to help steer your videos in the right direction. And both, again, are often just the same keywords you used in the title and description. Except these don't have to be pretty. You can just throw a bunch of different words and phrases in there without any particular order and it will greatly help your videos to get shown to the right people. YouTube also loves videos that have a good thumbnail. YouTube is designed to keep people on the site for as long as possible so they can make more ad money. So if your video has a catchy thumbnail that keeps drawing people to watch, YouTube is going to promote your video way more. So how do you make a catchy thumbnail? Well, we have a whole video on it right here. So make sure to check that one out after this. A good end screen is also important because it keeps people watching your content. An end screen is the screen that pops up at the end of a video that gives the viewers a few choices of other content that they can watch. You can send them to your most recent video, a video playlist, or let YouTube decide which video it thinks they will enjoy the most. All of these options are great because it keeps them on your channel, watching your content, which bumps up your standings with the YouTube algorithm. Another super easy thing you can do is adding chapters to your videos. This is where you go and section out your videos so that your audience can more easily find the information they want. This is also super valuable for YouTube because you have to name all of the chapters. So now YouTube has an even more in-depth look at the topics you discuss in your whole video. You're basically telling YouTube exactly what they need to do with your videos. So that was a few tips on how you can optimize your videos on YouTube to make sure your videos get the success that you want. Do you have any questions? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, I hope this helps keep your momentum going.